The narrative revolving the delivery of relief materials to Madagali community has been heightening for the past few days. In an earlier press briefing captured by Gotel, Adamukamali claimed he was assaulted by Senator Abdelaziz Nyako. I was billed to travel on board the helicopter with Senator Abdelaziz Nyako, Air Commander Ohemi, and others that were concerned. To my utmost dismay, well, I was to board the helicopter, Senator Abdul Aziz Nyako ordered that I should not be permitted to use the helicopter as he is the chairman of the delegation. So in the process, I was assaulted based on the order by Air Commander Ohemi. My dresses was torn, as you can see it. I'm still wearing the dress. So this is one of the examples, you can see it with stain of blood and a lot of bruises. I sustained a lot of bruises from the forceful withdrawal from the helicopter. The senator on his path gave a distinct view about the incident that unfolded. We had gone to the airport. We had boarded the helicopter. We had embarked. We were right in the helicopter. The safety checks had been carried out. All those that were that escorted us were taken to a distance, a safe distance, about 100 meters away from the helicopter. 100 meters radius from the helicopter. They had carried out the safety checks. The process is that you will enter, they will leave the doors open. Carry out the safety checks, carry out the operation checks, and then when they are satisfied, they will come round and close your doors. So they came round, they closed my door. They were going round to close the door of Air Commodore Ohemo, implying that in the next one to two minutes, the aircraft will take off, because it was actually a co-pilot doing that. He will shut the door, then enter his own cockpit to take off, to take off. So it would have taken off in two minutes. So you can imagine the rotor speed. It was at this rotor speed, despite the ground crew trying to stop Ademukalmene, the member of the House of Reps, that he passed through them and came and passed underneath helicopter rotor blade at high speed. In a statement, the senator attributed the behavior of Kameli as an ignorant one, citing a disassociation of political rivalry. A minute before takeoff, when the aircraft was about to take off and you wanted to force yourself into the aircraft without you being the manifest, you exposed yourself to extreme danger by passing under the rotos at high speed. If we know that you're an honorable member, the rotos don't know that you're an honorable member. This was what he did. So he jeopardized our safety and he went against aviation rules. But I am also telling you, based on my own military background as a naval officer, that the Air Force exercised a lot of restraint. A lot of restraint. Because not only do I have a naval background, I was trained by the Royal Navy. If I had attempted this in the Royal Air Force Base with a helicopter trying to run and the ground crew trying to stop you, the sentries at the control tower would have shot him. It's either he was ignorant or he acted from a point of view of arrogance. Additionally, the only other reason that I can attribute to this is that at that material time, he was mentally unstable. Many questions are being raised by people over the incident, but only time will tell what is concealed with regards to the Kamalinyako situation. Zainab Bala, Gotel News.